Hey, little lynx. Um, I've got a story for you today that my daughter picked out for us. It's called Mole Music. It's written and illustrated by David McPhail and uh, published by Henry Holt and Company in New York. So uh, we're going to share this little book today, and I hope you guys enjoy it. Mole lived all alone underground. He spent his days digging tunnels. At night, he ate his supper in front of the TV and then went to bed. Mole liked his life, but lately he had begun to feel that there was something missing. One night on the television, a man played the violin. He made the most beautiful music Mole had ever heard. I want to make beautiful music too, Mole said to himself. So the next day, he went away for a violin of his own. Every day, Mole checked his mailbox. No violin. Finally, after nearly three weeks, it arrived. Mole was so excited. He picked up the violin and drew the bow across the strings. But instead of beautiful music, all he made was a horrible screeching sound. Mole tried again. The violin still screeched, but not quite so horribly. Mole kept at it. After about a week, he could play one note, then two, and before a month went by, he could play an entire scale. Mole continued to practice. He learned to put the notes together in a simple song. Years went by. Mole got better and better. He was happier than he'd ever been. During the day, he dug tunnels. Mole hummed the music he would play at night. Now, Mole played even better than the man he'd seen on TV so long ago. Sometimes he wondered what it would be like to play his music for people. He imagined himself playing before a huge audience. He imagined that he played for presidents and queens. He even imagined that his music could reach into people's hearts and melt away their anger and sadness. Why, maybe his music could even change the world. Mole laughed at himself. How silly I am, he thought, imagining that my music could do all that when no one has ever even heard it. Mole played one more song, then put down his violin and went back to sleep and dreamed beautiful, peaceful dreams. What I really love about this story is that it shows the hard work that pays off when you uh, try something and sometimes things are hard when they first start you might get that screeching noise and then if you keep trying and trying you get better and better at it i know that through all this remote learning and learning on the computer it's been kind of hard for people and our teachers are trying new things and i'm trying new things and you guys are trying new things but i want to encourage you guys to stick with it no matter what you do keep trying and every day you'll get a little better and a little better each day I love you, my links. I hope to see you guys soon.